Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, this week we've been wrestling with really good questions from good people and hopefully really great answers from God's word. And we wrap up the week with this question, what does the Bible mean when it talks about a new heaven and a new earth? <laughs> and I love this question because it's a topic that many longtime Christians don't fully grasp and understand in my personal experience. For example, uh, do you know this is a total lie? That when a Christian dies, they go to heaven to be with Jesus forever and ever and ever and ever. False. <laughs> Did you know that being with Jesus in heaven is not like your forever home? It's just a really sweet apartment you get to stay in until you get to your forever home? Because the Bible says God's grand plan was not for his people to live far, far away in heaven forever, but that one day, when Jesus comes back, he would completely renovate this physical world and create a new earth for us to live on. Just so you make sure you, you know I'm not making this up, this is 2 Peter chapter 3. It talks about the return of Jesus and it calls it the day of the Lord. And here's what Peter says. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar, the elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. Verse 13, but in keeping with God's promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. So God, on the last day when Jesus comes back, is actually going to raise the bodies of all people. The Bible says in the book of Philippians that God is going to glorify the bodies of his people. Like no pain, no backaches, uh, no anxiety, no depression, no headaches, no GI issues, no allergies. Like a glorious, strong, incredible body and we will live in a glorious, beautiful, incredible place. Peter calls it the home of righteousness. Like where everything is right. Where there are no natural disasters, but there are still beautiful things. And I think about that. You know, sometimes we have these pictures of heaven. We like sit on a cloud and a diaper and play a heart. It doesn't sound that exciting, but have you ever experienced things on earth? Have you ever traveled and taken a vacation? You ever seen the sun rise and set? You ever seen a beautiful body of water? You ever gotten out on a boat? Ever traveled to Thailand or Australia or England or the beaches of Mexico? Like if this earth with all of its brokenness can be that thrilling and that interesting, can you imagine living on the new earth where everything is right? Where everything is a thousand times better? Where your eyes are sharper, you can hear better, your mind is functioning, where there's no sin, it doesn't affect your body or affect our world? That's what the Bible is after when it talks about the new earth. And so heaven is going to be amazing. <laughs> to be with God will be better by far. But can you imagine being not just with God, but in a place where everything is a billion times better than anything we've experienced? I can't wait for that day. And it's why the Bible ends with the words, Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Let that day come. So let's pray. Oh, Jesus, we cannot wait for you to come back. We cannot wait to experience the new earth. We've experienced really good things in this life, good people and good places and great experiences. So what is it going to be like when everything is perfect? But God, we also want to be patient because there are people that we love who are not ready for that day, who would be judged and not saved if you decided that day was today. So give us passion to reach out. Give us courage to share our faith, that people would have that same hope, that same anticipation to see you face to face and to live forever in the new earth. We pray this, God, because we know you hear our prayers because of Jesus. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. Whenever I want to get really excited about the new earth, I think about all the amazing things I've experienced on this earth. And I'd love to hear about your experiences. What's like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen on this planet? Uh, what's the coolest vacation you've ever taken? I would love for you to comment on that in the section below that we can just imagine and use our spiritual hearts to think, if this life can be this good, imagine the life to come. Thanks for commenting and we'll catch you next time. Do you enjoy these videos? We would love for you to catch more. You can click the subscribe button. And if you do, I will tell you all of Pastor Phil Hebner's deepest, darkest secrets because I went to college with him. Beware, Pastor Hebner. <laughs> Have a great week.